All right, greetings. Let's just get into it. Entering 2020 with 2020 vision. So, obviously, the state that conscious entities are in on this planet to incarnate at the moment, it's a little bit hectic. It's exciting. It's a bit scary. There's a sense of apprehension. There's a sense of liberation. There's a sense of terror and unknowing in a way. First and foremost, we always have to understand that the true highest self, if you want to use that word, the true you, the true me, is we. The true self is aloof from this experience and entirely safe. This is a dream. You already know, and I've said it and you've heard it a billion times and you know, thought about it countless times. You know, I know that this flesh will die. We will pass away in this character that we're being. We've lived many times. We've incarnated many times. And these are characters we've played, sort of like a momentum built its own beautiful essence, pushing towards the memory, the realization that we are perfectly enlightened entities. We are the God, we are the Buddha mind. You call it what you like. There's not a better term, as I always say. So, while we're in this earth suit, we are subject to all these laws, as you guys know. You have gravity, you have eating and sleeping, stuff like that. And then you have human imposed laws some of which are good and needed for the overall greater good, and some of which are absolute rubbish and control mechanisms that very much impinge, is that the word? Infringe upon the person's liberty. Whether or not those things should be challenged soon, we're going to see, but we are accelerating quickly to memory to access, to enlightenment, to an ascension type. Now, ultimately, we don't really have to see ascension as some sort of linear thing happening chronologically. The true you, the true I, the I am, is eternal and aloof and going through a bunch of experiences, incarnating here, incarnating there, having a taste of the water coming out. And, hmm, that was interesting and not really having an ego or, or a conscious identity, but this wholly chaotic, that's a bad word because it has bad connotations often, but this non-structured, non-shape or form self, complete aloof is beyond what we can conceive because you could attribute a name to it or something, but the real self has no form. As they say, it is above the uh, the five skandhas, which are basically, you know, uh, these little appendages of parts of the self that make up the totality. But the real thing is, is safe. We're coming in and we're coming out of all these life experiences. This Earth Gaia is only one place. It can be seen dramatically or not. We can take it very seriously or not. If you have a heart that truly cares and wishes to see entities not suffer, entities grow and have the freedom and peace and not be attacked and manipulated. Uh, we're trying to destroy ignorance, basically. I'm trying to say a lot and funnel it, and it's true, it's hard to condense often in human speech what your mind is trying to get out there. But you guys know that what we're experiencing is temporary while we're here. But it's building us the momentum to the next stage and phases. It's not even so much, and I'm not trying to say this um, in a mockery against somebody or uh, a competitive conflict of any kind, but it's not so much about we're ascending to 5D dimension reality. We already innately possess so much, so very much. And as Buddha said, it is quite true. Verily I say to you, the whole universe is inside you and that is absolutely true it's not about space it's not about time it's not about anything consciousness itself as you are funneled into a small 
meat suit. But when you re remember yourself, you realize you are as vast as can be. But to put a focus point on the conscious entity with the skandhas, then you will take on this as like a lens. It's kind of like your body is like a binocular. You're looking at one thing at a time. So you're focused into this. So what I mean by 2020 vision is exactly this. That, or I think that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Find for yourself clarity. Memory. It's often good to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm a beautiful person. I'm wonderful. I'm worthy. I'm equal to everybody. And also to say, but this shall pass. I should not get attached to this. The true deep self, yes, you can never escape yourself. You cannot stop being. But what we are acting out is like we say the flux. So the momentum of the earth, before the earth was, there was conscious choice to experience. There was liberty of being able to play with and formulate this type of a world into the regions in which it must take place under the laws and elements that it must take place so we will have the experience and in many cases yes the world is a school first and foremost it's also a jail and a quarantine for very many it's a realm of experience Certainly, it's a hospital and a way of curing an erratic mind, a broken heart, uh, an unhinged entity, conscious self that's looking for stability. This is a structure, this is the alchemical pot that we're going through, basically. So, from the inception of this timeline's history until now, entering the year, what humans could call 2020. Now, it is significant to have the 2020 vision so we can clearly embark upon and peel back another layer of what the totality is and what we're doing here. We are highly intelligent, thinking, feeling entities, one with source from the source, and we're having a very strange experience here. Some people here on this earth, as you know, as you see every day, are very attached to thinking they are 3D body and they should manipulate and conquer and do all manner of things. They are very, very ignorant, ignoring higher truth. Whether that's on purpose or whether that's also helped along with the manipulation factors and all these things. But the one who wants to know and have the clear vision will always find it. You look within, you realize that there are hierarchies in the universe, there are principles, there are universal laws, if you will, that are in place, and the rest is sort of a chaotic thing. Go. But what's happening on the earth isn't unbeknownst to the source self that you are. It's, it's a very strange thing, because your higher self is free and safe, and you've chosen to have this bizarre experience and it seems like drama and death and conflict, and in a way it is, but in another way it's just a dream. To fear this planet is ridiculous. In the words of the Master Yeshua, when he said, don't fear those who can kill the body, and after that there's nothing that they can do. Fear the one that can put your very soul spark into a dimension or hellish place, or destroy that essence. So, what is happening here, it's like a dream in a dream that we took in a strange way. And with this heavy amnesia, we're shaking off saying, whoa. It's kind of like waking out of a drunken stupor and blinking or waking up from a, yeah, indeed, a strange dream or nightmare and going, what, what? You know when you have a dream in between awake and asleep? You think it's real, you're in that strange state. You're awake and you know you're awake, but there's a part of you that's still tricked into thinking that you're not. That's sort of like, I hope I said that okay. <laughs> that's sort of like what the living 3D waking consciousness is like. 
because we know there's something more, there's something so much deeper, and then yet we're still kind of tricked by it. But it's not, that's not a victim mentality. They did this, and they did that, and they, 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 no, no, no. Whether or not there are some individuals who are currently playing the role of the devil or the devil's advocate, that's also passing. You and I could have done that role too in some aeons ago in some other place, as far as we know. As an example, anything is a possibility. So what I'm saying is, realize inside of you is the potential of absolutely everything. Full enlightenment, full positivity, and its complete opposite. The shadow, the hiding, the ignorance, that which does not know, and in its ignorance claims to know. And thinks, well, well no one's stopping me, looks like I can do such and such. But does any intelligent person, any person who has some semblance of real memory, or some tiny semblance or some spark of understanding and comprehension, coherence, a person has a, even a little bit can realize, ah, whatever I'm doing, I'm actually sort of naked before the grand spirit of all things. Not a single thing being done that isn't known to the self, which is one great self behind the scenes of absolutely everything. So the joke is on the jokers in a way. Those who think that they have so much power and authority on this planet, very deluded and lost completely because you're attached to a temporary modality, which is passing ultra mega quick. It doesn't last and any damage done is accrued. Nothing is forgotten and comes back. You can't escape it. Once it's done, behold, it's been released into the universe for better or for ill. You must decide, right? <coughs> oh, excuse me. So when we have this memory of true clarity, true self, we are then in a good position to feel stable in almost any condition. I mean, yeah, you can be zen and calm, then all of a sudden, yeah, a tornado whisks you away. You might not be calm as you're flying, you know, 100 meters and crash into a building. <laughs> if you could do that, then you would be a true master indeed. <laughs> because we have a semblance of self-preservation and protection. Nobody wants to be hurt. See, again, you can quote scriptures of various sources, but because people thought, of, the reason why I mentioned that is because people thought the same things thousands of years ago, whether from the Gnostic Christian tradition or Buddhism or even before that. But even now, it's just as real, just as prevalent. Nobody really in the sane mind likes to be harmed. Everybody likes life. People like to live. People like to be healthy and not feeling anguish. Um, nobody wants to be attacked or killed. If you're kind of out of whack or you're in some berserker rage, I don't know. But in a, norm, in a normal, true, sober sense, nobody wants these things. Everybody likes life. So how could you like life and harm another and think you are above this person and more important than them? This is the death of the ego. 2020 vision is a, another wake-up call. 2012 was an approximation, but 2020 is another approximation to say, oh, something's a brewing. Because we know that the old thinking modality, the, let's say, very outdated, very outmoded ways of thinking and being, need to be eradicated. Not that anything can harm the true you, but as far as this earth experience is concerned, if we do a mass genocide, suicide as a human race, what was the accomplishment of that? There's no pride in that. Oh, well, I killed everybody, and then I took a spaceship and tried to go to Mars, and it didn't work because my technology was garbage. And you know, We're not able to get out of the quarantine in this <laughs> level of thinking. The higher realms are only accessed. Never mind physical travel. But the higher realms are only accessed with the enlightenment process. But the rudiment, you're building a body of light, you're building a mind of memory that has the capacity to, I don't want to say withstand, but has the capacity to cooperate with higher levels of thinking and being. It's like trying to take a mouse who's in a little home 
and put it into a very complex uh, thing and then tell it to go run a computer and monitor that. It doesn't have the capability. Human beings, while we think we're the top dog of this planet in a physical sense, we're really, we really are, but we're also really very destructive and foolish, as you probably have seen. <laughs> so the death of the ego, the death of the competitive predator, we have to have some kind of defense. And yes, like we said, self-preservation or, an, um, <coughs> excuse me, a right to aggress should it needs be coming. You can't have necessarily complete total pacifism in every which world that there is, no. But it's not about being childish with it. It's not about being a me versus you mentality if there's no reason to. The problem with this planet, and there's a lot of exaggerations on conspiracies and different things, and in some cases, maybe not. But the main thing is the drive to outdo the other just in case they get me. So you could take the Far East, like China, and then you could take something like America, there's you no know, superpowers, and then say, oh, who's going to win? We've got to outdo the other guy. We've got to have a stronger military just in case. I'm going to do that just in case. And in all this advancement, all this technology, I'm talking into a phone right now, and I'm going to upload a video for you guys to watch. It can be repeated and paused and whatever throughout time, linear time, the illusion of time. And yet we're still afraid of our neighbor. <laughs> Indeed, if angels and extraterrestrials and all that be true, and if they have said the truth, that they were impressed at our technological advancements, but not the way we've kept the spirit matched with it. Well, now we're going to have to see a little return of spirit to sort of counterbalance our tech advancements, because we're pushing ourselves too far without having the balance. So 2020 vision, 20, 20, 10, and 10. 10, the next stage, right? Numbers 1, 0, if you want to see the number 0. 1 to 9, you have 10. 10, the next decimal, the next digits coming in. 10 and 10. So this is to represent a completion. 2020 vision is to have some sort of clear insight. The way in which you look at yourself and the way in which you look out at the world. And to have purity and strength. You can have wit and charm and even sarcastic things if you like. <laughs> but to have purity and strength. And the one that is very um, calm and stable within will only in the last resort be vicious or wary of others. When you've become one with the self, you see sort of the arbitrary nature of so many things. You see sort of the futility of people. I mean, ultimately, it's building towards the spirit, the soul evolution, back to the enlightenment, back to the memory. But what you see is, a, even at a busy street corner, at a red light, it could be anywhere, anywhere in public at all, you see tons and tons of people moving and going about, and all they're doing is going home, they'll eat, they'll go to the bathroom, they'll sleep, they'll wake up, and they'll repeat a similar enough day. Sometimes we have little adventures, but it's all sort of arbitrary <laughs> and in the grand scheme of things it's just an experience nothing that is permanent can happen in an exterior exterior externalized there is a word i'm looking for <laughs> in an externalized way so heavens and kingdoms of heavens it's first inside later on in a realm of dimensions can be accessed but here what we're trying to do is advance the next stage and it is happening rapidly. You can see it around you. Almost maybe too rapidly. We're kind of choking ourselves out a little bit. We're getting worried about resource issues. And uh, yeah, there's a growing gap of rich and poor, which is very frightening indeed. It makes us worry about rioting, sustainability. Um, yeah, are we going to self-destruct in some way? Are we going to be put to uglier modes of living until there's better ones. All these things yet are popping up. Those who have it comfortable aren't going to do much. They're just going to sit on their retirement and kind of, uh, or whatnot, as an example, or you're rich and cozy. And then there are those in too much struggle. They're in such a rat race that they don't even know that they are. Or they do, but they don't even know that there is ways out if you want. So it's really, 
really on a precarious perch right now. So we have to have complete clarity. We have to have a unity that is of the utmost importance, a global family. I can't wait for more things to increase. Some of the things coming out are pretty wonderful, actually. We feel peace. We feel safe with each other. We feel we trust each other. We have a good trade. We have completion and community rather than competition and some sort of uh, nasty state of just everybody's in a box and yet we're all doing kind of the same thing. The illusion of not being so separate from each other, that's one of the worst things. Different lifestyles, different predicaments, but you still will taste of death. Old age, disease, death. So <laughs> getting back to our 2020 vision will give us clarity, give us peace, will give us strength, will get us the understanding that we're moving back from whence we came. And this will be a great thing. Let there be, hopefully, peace for all, love for all. And those who still need harsh lessons, I suppose it will come. And in the end, everybody will choose of themselves. You will judge yourself. You will enlighten yourself. And we'll, we are sharing it in this world in order to attain a bigger thing. So that we will become back to sanity in its truest form. And that maybe ultimately in some way have a little a giggle at our own foolishness while we try to do something in, in a way of speaking in vain here. <laughs> but really it was just for experience. And as gods are, and goddesses are made, so shall they expand in the endless cosmos to create and to gain access to higher privileges. We have to want it and to gain it by a, a default, you just have to have your mind return to the, the road that leads there. Because you can't just go in any, way, any which way. You can't become enlightened by being attached to a piece of mud <laughs> and trying to control the mud. I think you're the master of the universe. This is the opposite way around. Treating all life deeply and wonderfully. That is somebody who is close with the God, if you want to use that word, that's for sure. So that's my musings for now. Wishing you guys well. I guess I'll cut the video, it's been long enough. Have a pristine, beautiful moment. We'll catch on the flip side. Let's hope for a good 2020 coming up. Clarity, be true to you, and you will have truth around you and be able to discern deceit even more. That's just the way it goes. Namaste, my friends. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>